How's it going? Got the 303 out. My granddad's old 303 that I took ownership of about oh, a couple of years ago now. It's mostly set in the, the gun safe for most of the time and I've been keen to shoot a deer with it since I got it basically but just never bloody get around to, to getting too caught up with my longer range shooting and things like that. But the challenge has been set and gonna shoot it, got to shoot a deer with it this year. Um, she's been converted to open sights because um, granddad and my dad had a scope, little scope set up on it. It was a good little setup like that, but I converted it back to open sights to keep it all sort of original. And yeah, going to shoot out, do a quick shoot with it with some ammo that we've got here that's lying around from years ago. Make sure she's still on. Last time I shot it at 100 meters, it shot a, not a bad little group for an open sight 303. So go out and make sure she's still all good and then hopefully get out for a hunt tomorrow, go for a bit of a bush stalk, see if we can bump into anything, but yeah, I'm looking forward to just taking her out and going for a walk with her actually, be bloody good, cool, see how we get on. That was the old PMC, 180 grain rounds. Don't have many of them left, so I probably won't really bother hunting with them. But we'll see how she went. Oh yeah, quite high. That's at 50 meters. All right, we'll go give the other ones a whirl. and see what that did. There's a Highland 150 grain round up high as well. Both pretty high for 50 meters. Oh well, continue having a plate. All right, so she's about about three four inches high at 50. It was about an inch and a half high at a 25 so we're at the 100 now we'll see what it does at 100 and once we've done that then we know where she's going and where to aim She's pretty high again. Problem is I've got no more adjustment to go any lower. <laughs> That's as low as I can get me adjustments to go on the open sights, so gonna have to settle with that. That's alright. I just know I've got to aim a pinch lower than where I want to hit and she'll be bang on. Easy ass smoke a deer in the bush. Righto. Two shots here, 100 meters, not too bad, that's when I was aiming, I was aiming about the bottom here to try and get them sort of center and that's not bad for open sights, a little old 303, bloody good. There's that standing shot I just took, aiming a bit low as well, but obviously went a bit lower than I was expecting, so cool, happy with that. That's a dead deer with the open sighted 303. Right, better get home and get my gear together and sort out some lunch because I'm a hungry bugger. Get ready for a hunt tomorrow. Good old bush stalk. Mean. Four thirty in the morning. Yeah, let's go hunting. Right here we are. 
chosen spot for the day in the Rohanis. New area, haven't been here before. Often the case, I like to check out new places all the time, so go for a wander. I've just seen two deer just on the farm edge just up here. Sneak into the bush, so they'll be just up in here somewhere in the bush. So that's where I'm going. Now that I'm on the public side of the fence, up there, stalk into the bush and then just follow my nose, really. Probably could have had a shot at them from just here, they're right by the boundary, but it's a little bit long for the 303 and the light was a bit low and yeah, it's just no point being silly this early on, and, or at all really, so yeah. We'll sneak up there once the light's a bit better for the bush and see how we get on. Just shot a deer with the 303. Bloody mean. Awesome. Just coming through a bit of thick shit here. There's a little bit of a clearing here, and I was looking out and around, and I was like, oh, yeah, we're starting to get up into some nice country here. And I decided to drop off the ridge here and sidle into this little gut. Nice little gut, and I was a bit fast actually, but look out there and I just stopped right here and I was like this is real nice in here and I just looked and I just heard a crack right in front of me and bugger me I just seen this hind I think it's pretty sure it's a hind she just stepped through the gap just up here about 20 meters not even that 15 I had a perfect shot and I went oi to get her to stop but she didn't bloody stop she kept going and then she, she must have stopped a bit further on she didn't even know I was here I could just see her shoulder through a gap. Drilled her with one shot and she tore off down here. Straight down here in front of me, right here, about five, ten meters in front of me here. The beautiful beautiful thing with the old 303 with the open sights, I just tracked her. And then right here in this gap, right here, drilled her again and dropped her. She's just down below me. Awesome. Oh man, that was awesome. I'm amping. Hey Sarko, we just shot a deer with the 303. Man, let's go get it. Hey. Straight on it. Good girl. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Good girl. Good girl. Fucking awesome. Awesome. Mean. 
the first deer I've shot in the bush, bush stalking in a while since I've gotten into a bit of long range shooting. Been doing a lot of slip shooting and open hunting. So I was bloody really looking forward to doing this bush stalk with the old 303. So I was kind of missing having a good bush stalk. And what better way than this? Mint. Awesome. Hey girl. Well done. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Just like that. Not even going to chew it. Bloody hell. Alright. Got as much meat as I can get off her. Both shoulders, hind quarters, and a bit of other stuff. Pretty much most of it. Unfortunately, the gut bag had a bit of a bursting on the second shot. When she was running down the hill, it was high, high in the shoulder and a bit far back through the spine, but it managed to take out the bag, unfortunately. But luckily I managed to whip off all of this stuff and keep it clean. So we'll chuck her on and shoot back down the hill, back to the truck and take it home and stake it and mince it, I think. Bloody awesome. Cool, better crack on. Oh well, we made it to the bottom. There's one thing I hate about the bush, out of all the things I love. Supplejack. Oh man, Supplejack. <laughs> there's anyone out there who likes Supplejack, let me know. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, stoked to be at the bottom. Now just to cruise out along the flat to the truck and Home we go. Minter. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh well. It's ten o'clock now. Got up at about uh, four o'clock this morning, I think. Got on the road at four thirty. In the bush by five thirty. And yeah, out by ten. Not a bad little morning. Get on home and hang this meat up, do a bit of butchering, turn it into steak and steak and mince, I think. I'm sort of lacking in that at the moment, so that's what it will be. Yeah, bloody awesome. Bloody good to take the 303 for a walk. It's the first hunt I've had it on. I've had it in my safe for a few years now, like I was saying, so it's bloody cool to shoot an animal with it. Really cool. Those follow-up shots are so much easier with the open sights in the bush. It's just a breeze. Cool. Cheers for watching and catch you on the next adventure.